Hello and welcome to Akkad Guild. Let's look into the tutorial on how to analyze data generated from YouTube. In this tutorial, you will learn to analyze data from YouTube using Hadoop MapReduce. Did you know that 300 videos are uploaded to YouTube every single minute? And that these videos are made available to more than 1 billion YouTube users in 75 countries in 61 languages? Just imagine the volume of data that is generated on YouTube every minute and how you can make use of this information to measure how well your video marketing efforts are faring. The YouTube data is publicly available and thus can act as a powerful tool for video marketers who wish to analyze their competitors' videos too. Although, video uploaders may disable the option to make their statistics available to public. Now let us see how data from YouTube can be analyzed using Hadoop. We will first start by explaining a YouTube data set with you. Using this data set, we will perform analysis and draw insights on the top 10 rated videos on YouTube and also who have uploaded the most number of videos on YouTube. After this, you will be taught how to handle datasets that do not have a proper structure. You will be further thought about how to sort the output of a reducer. The dataset Column 1 gives the video ID of 11 characters. Column 2 gives information about the uploader of the video. Column 3 gives the number of days between when YouTube was established and the date when the video was uploaded. Column 4 gives information about the category of the video. Column 5 gives information about the length of the video. Column 6 states the number of views for the video. Column 7 gives the rating for the video. Column 8 gives the number of ratings received for the video. Column 9 gives the number of comments received for the video. Column 10 gives related video IDs for the video uploaded. Problem Statement 1. Here, we will collect information about the top 5 categories of videos for which maximum number of videos have been uploaded. Source Code From the mapper, we need to get the video category as key. And the final regular end value 1. Which will be paused to the shuffle and sort phase and will be further sent to the reducer phase where the aggregation of these values will be performed. In line 1, we are taking a class by the name Top 5 Address Code Categories. In line 2, we are extending the mapper default class that has the arguments key in as long writable, value in as text, key out as text and value out as int writable. In line 3, we are declaring a private text variable category, which will store the category of videos on YouTube. In line 4, we are declaring a private final static int writable variable 1, which will be constant for every value MapReduce deals with key and value pairs. Here, we can set the key as gender and value as age. In line 5, we are overriding the map method that will run one time for every line. In line 7, we are storing the line in a string variable line. In line 8, we are splitting the line by using the backward slash t delimiter and are storing the values in a string array so that all the columns in a row are stored in it. In line 9, we are taking an if condition. If we have a string array of length greater than 6, which means that if the row has at least 7 columns, then such a string will enter into the if condition and execute the code to eliminate the array index out of bounds exception. 
In line 10, VR storing the category which is in fourth column. In line 12, we are entering the key and value into context which will act as the output of the MapReduce method. The reducer code. Line 1 extends the default reducer class with arguments like key in as text and value in as int writable. These are the same as the outputs of the mapper class. And key out as text. And value out as int writable will be the final outputs of our MapReduce program. In line 2, we are overriding the reduce method, which will run each time for every key. In line 3, we are declaring an integer variable sum which will store the sum of all the values for every key. In line 4, for each loop is taken, which will run each time for the values inside the iterable values that will come from the shuffle and sort phase. After the mapper phase, In line 5, we are storing and calculating the sum of these values. And line 7 will help write the respected key and the obtained sum as value to the context. The configuration code. Two configuration classes are included in the main class. To clarify the output key type of the mapper and the output value type of the mapper. How to execute. Here, Hadoop specifies that we are running a Hadoop command. JAR specifies the type of application we are running. And top5.jar is the JAR file which has been created that consists of the above source code. The path of the input file in our case is root directory of HDFS that is denoted by forward slash YouTube data .txt, and the output file location to store the output has been given as top 5 address code out. How to view output Here Hadoop specifies that we are running a Hadoop command. And, DFS specifies that we are performing an operation related to the Hadoop distributed file system. Hyphen cat is used to view the contents of a file. And top 5 address code out, forward slash, part hyphen r hyphen 0000 is the file where the output is stored. The file containing the actual output is created by default via the text input format class of Hadoop. Here, sort hyphen n hyphen k2 hyphen r hyphen head hyphen n5 helps find out the top five categories for which maximum number of videos had been uploaded. Instead of writing a secondary sort after reducer, we can simply use this command to get the required output sort will sort the data hyphen n means sorting numerically hyphen k2 means second column hyphen r is used for recursive operation and head hyphen n5 means bringing the first five values after sorting problem statement 2 in this problem statement we will find the top 10 rated videos on youtube the source code. Now, from the mapper, we need to get the video ID as key. And rating is value. That will be passed to the shuffle and sort phase. These values will be further sent to the reducer phase, where the aggregation of the values will be performed. Mapper code. In line 1, we are taking a class by the name video address code rating. In line 2, we are extending the mapper default class that has the arguments key in as long writable, value in as text, key out as text, and value out as float writable. In line 4, we are declaring a private text variable video underscore name that will store the video name 
which is in an encrypted format. In line 5, we are declaring a private float writable variable rating that will help store the rating of the video. MapReduce deals with key and value pairs. Here, we can set the key as gender and value as age. In line 6, we are overriding the map method, which will run one time for every line. In line 8, we are storing the line in a string variable line. In line 9, we are taking an if condition. A string array will enter into the if condition and execute the code. If we have a string array of length greater than 7, which means the row should have at least 7 columns, the code will be executed. In order to eliminate the array index out of bounds exception, in line 10, we are splitting the line by using the backward slash t delimiter and storing the values in a string array so that all the columns in a row are stored in the string array. In line 11, we are storing the video's name, which will be in the first column. In line 12, we are checking whether the data in that index is numeric in nature by using a regular expression that can be achieved by matches function in Java. If the data is numeric, then the code will proceed. The data should be a floating value as well. In line 13, we are converting that numeric data into flow data by typecasting. In line 14, we are storing the rating of the video in a rating variable. In line 17, we are writing the key and value into context, which will be the output of the map method. The reducer code. Line 1 extends the default reducer class with arguments key in as text and value in as int writable that are same as the outputs of the mapper class and key out as text and value out as int writable. That will be final outputs of our MapReduce program. In line 2, we are overriding the reduce method that will run each time for every key. In line 4, we are declaring an integer sum which will store the sum of all the ages of people in it. In line 5, we are taking another variable as yell which will be incremented every time as many values are there for that key. In line 6, for each loop is taken, which will run each time for the values inside the iterable values which are coming from the shuffle and sort phase after the mapper phase. In line 8, we are storing and calculating the sum of the values in line 10, we are performing the average of the obtained sum and the respected key and the obtained sum as value to the context. How to execute? Here, Hadoop specifies that we are running a Hadoop command and JAR specifies which type of application we are running. The video address code, rating.jar, is the jar file which we have created. That consists of the above source code, the path of the input file. In our cases, root directory of HDFS that is, denoted by forward slash YouTube data dot txt. And the output file location, to store the output, has been given as video rating address code out. How to view the output. Here, Hadoop specifies that we are running a Hadoop command. And EFS specifies that we are performing an operation related to the Hadoop distributed file system. Hyphen cat is used to view the contents of a file and video rating address code out. Forward slash part hyphen r hyphen 0000 is the file where the output is stored. 
part file containing the actual output is created by default by the text input format class of Hadoop. Here, sort hyphen n hyphen k2 hyphen r hyphen head hyphen n10 finds out the top rated videos on YouTube. Instead of writing a secondary sort after reducer, we can simply use this command to get the required output. Sort will sort the data, hyphen n means sorting numerically, hyphen k2 means second column, hyphen r is for recursive operation. And head hyphen n10 means bring the first 10 values after sorting. Analyzing YouTube video statistics Using Hadoop MapReduce is a reliable qualitative method to collect more than just bare bones stats. For more updates on the technologies, learn Hadoop today and stay ahead of your computers. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel.